Imagine you're strolling through the picturesque landscapes of Japan, soaking in the serene beauty, when suddenly you stumble upon a construction project that seems straight out of a sci-fi movie. This thing is not just big, it's colossal. We're talking about a structure that's devouring over half a billion dollars like it's nobody's business. Now ask yourself, what do $600 million neutrinos, geology, and total complete silence have in common? That's what we're looking at today on Pristine Mega Projects. Watch until the end, because this mega project is really fascinating. Now, you might think spotting something this mammoth would be as easy as finding a Pikachu at a Pokemon convention, but nope. This behemoth is playing hide and seek with us mere mortals. Tucked away in a remote corner of Japan, this marvel of engineering is shrouded in secrecy, or at least as much secrecy as a half billion dollar project can muster. This massive structure has been in the making for over two decades. Yep, you heard that right. 20 years! That's longer than it takes some folks to decide what to watch on Netflix. It stands over 80 meters tall and stretches nearly 70 meters wide. To put that into perspective, it's taller than a skyscraper and wider than your average football field. And when this baby is finally done, it's not going to resemble your run-of-the-mill building or even a fancy sculpture. Oh no, it's going to look like it belongs in a league of its own. A true one-of-a-kind wonder, well, almost. You see, our universe is a wacky place, filled with all sorts of quirks and oddities. One of these oddballs is the neutrino. Now I know what you're thinking. Neutrino? Sounds like the name of a hipster coffee shop. But these little fellas are anything but trendy baristas. They're tiny subatomic particles that zip around the cosmos, playing a game of cosmic tag. And here's the kicker. They don't play well with others. Unlike your extroverted protons and electrons, neutrinos are the wallflowers of the particle world. They zoom through space like cosmic ghosts, barely acknowledging the existence of other matter. Billions of these ghostly particles whizzing through your body as you read this. Now, why should we care about these elusive little buggers? Well, imagine if we could crack the code of neutrinos, unravel their mysterious behavior. It could revolutionize our understanding of the universe as we know it. Suddenly the cosmos would be our oyster and we'd have front row seats to the greatest show in the universe. Curious to learn more? Drop a comment below with your thoughts on the hyper Kumio candy and the wonders of particle physics. Don't miss out on the cosmic adventure unfolding before our eyes. Subscribe now to stay updated on the latest discoveries and join the conversation. Ah, the elusive neutrinos. The ninjas of the particle world. They're so sneaky even Sherlock Holmes would struggle to track them down. But fear not, because us humans are an inventive bunch. When it comes to finding these ghostly particles, we've got a few tricks up our sleeves. One method involves playing cosmic billiards, but instead of balls, we're smashing particles together at ludicrous speeds. It's like the Large Hadron Collider at CERN, where scientists are basically playing bumper cars with protons, hoping to catch a glimpse of the elusive neutrinos in action. It's the ultimate game of subatomic hide-and-seek. And trust me, these neutrinos are the reigning champions. Now, if you're not into the whole smash particles together approach, fear not. There's another, more peaceful method, listening. Yes, you heard that right, and let me tell you, it's about as straightforward as trying to hear a whisper at a rock concert, but it can be done. To hear the whispers of the universe, you need complete silence, pin drop silence. And where better to find that than in the tranquil, picturesque landscapes of Japan? Seriously, those guys have silence down to an art form. Enter Kamioka, a quaint little town nestled in the Japanese Alps, where the air is crisp, the scenery is breathtaking, and the silence is deafening. Here atop Mount Nijugo, you'll find the Hyper Kamiokande, a science experiment that's making waves, or should I say ripples, in the world of particle physics. Led by the Brainiacs at the University of Tokyo and supported by a motley crew of researchers from 21 countries, this experiment is like the Avengers of particle physics. Only instead of battling evil geniuses, they're battling the mysteries of the universe itself. And with a price tag of a cool $600 million, you better believe they mean business. So remember how we were marveling at the Hyper Cameo Candy's grandeur? Well, this story just got even more fascinating. Turns out, the Hyper Cameo Candy isn't just a lone wolf howling at the mysteries of the universe. It's part of a legacy, a lineage of scientific exploration that stretches back decades in the Kamioka region of Japan. Back in 1983, before Hyper Kamiokande, 
was even a twinkle in a scientist's eye. There was the Kamioka Nuclear Decay Experiment, or Kamiokande for short. This bad boy was the brainchild of a local mining company, leveraging their expertise in digging stuff up for the noble pursuit of science. The success of the Kamiokande paved the way for its bigger, badder sibling, the Super Kamiokande, which burst onto the scene in 1996 like the Godzilla of particle detectors. Now, the latest iteration of detectors, the Hyper Kamiokande, is currently under construction, poised to steal the spotlight. Picture this, a massive cylinder carved into the very heart of a mountain, accessed via tunnels that make your average subway system look like child's play. This thing is so huge, it could fit a Boeing 747 standing on its end. This mega project takes go big or go home to a whole new level. Fast forward to May 2021, and the Hyper Kamiokande project kicked into high gear. Armed with drills and dynamite, and probably a few cups of strong coffee, the intrepid construction crew embarked on the Herculean task of excavating a two kilometer long approach tunnel. And get this, they blasted through solid rock like it was butter, completing the tunnel in a mere nine months. I mean, talk about efficiency. Now let's fast forward to October 2023, when we've got ourselves a bona fide mountain bunker, complete with a reinforced domed roof to fend off any pesky rocks trying to rain on our neutrino parade. And now, with the groundwork laid, literally, the team is gearing up for the next phase, blasting through a whopping 71 meters of rock to create the cavernous chamber where the observatory will reside. The rock might be stubborn as a mule, but for our construction crews, it's like hitting the jackpot in terms of neutrino spotting real estate. You see, this isn't just any old rock. It's the superhero of geological formations with a density that's the equivalent of plopping our observatory 1.7 kilometers below the surface of the ocean. Now that's some serious depth, but why is this rocky fortress so perfect for our neutrino hunting expedition, you ask? Well, here's the scoop. While neutrinos couldn't care less about solid matter, they're the ultimate cosmic ghostwriters after all. This dense rock acts as a cosmic bouncer, keeping out unwanted party crashers like cosmic rays and other background radiation. We're talking VIP level insulation here, folks. Now let's talk timelines. Drilling is slated to wrap up in 2025 and sure, we'll have ourselves an impressive cave by then. But there's still a long road ahead before we can start throwing confetti over spotting a single subatomic particle. First up on the to-do list, lining the cavern with not one, but two layers of concrete topped off with a waterproof layer. And here's where things get really wild. Once our cave is all cozy and watertight, we're talking about turning it into the largest water tank this side of the Milky Way by adding 260 million liters of H2O, sloshing around like a giant bathtub party. That's nearly four and a half times larger than the world's largest aquarium at SeaWorld in Abu Dhabi. Forget finding Nemo. We're on the hunt for subatomic neutrinos in this giant tub. So. While it might seem like just drilling holes and playing with water, there's some serious science brewing beneath the surface. So this is one of the photomultiplier tubes. It's a high vacuum inside, and whenever there's a neutrino event happening in the water, the light that is produced by that event hits maybe a few dozen or a few hundreds of these photomultiplier tubes. So let's dive right into the cosmic marvels of the hypercameo candy and the wonders it's poised to unveil. How does it work? Picture this, as neutrinos gracefully dance their way through the watery depths of the cavern. Occasionally, just occasionally, they'll engage in a cosmic tango with some unsuspecting electrons. And when they do, it's showtime. They emit a faint glow known as Cherenkov radiation, like a cosmic light show in the darkness of space. To catch this graceful motion, we need some serious gear. Enter stage left, 40,000. We're standing here at the entrance of the tunnel that leads to the Super Kamiokande detector. It's about 2,000 meters down this tunnel to the left. Photo detectors ready to line the cavern walls like paparazzi at a red carpet event. Once these detectors are in place, they'll transform the cavern into a giant camera, capturing every flicker of light from the Cherenkov radiation. These photo detectors aren't your run-of-the-mill cameras. They're the rock stars of sensitivity. I'm talking about sensors so sharp, a single one could spot a flashlight being used on the moon. And guess what? The ones being made for the Hyper Kamiokande are even more sensitive, nearly twice as sensitive, in fact. If 
neutrino interact with this water, then it goes flashlight. And uh, this flashlight can be observed by the photosensors. So that's how we observe the neutrons. Plus, they're built tough, capable of withstanding the crushing weight of 260,000 tons of water without breaking a sweat. Talk about heavy lifting. Fast forward to 2026 and voila, construction is complete. The photo detectors are installed and the Hyper Cameo Candy is ready to rock and roll. By 2027, it'll be detecting neutrinos, performing experiments, and blowing our minds with cosmic revelations. But wait, there's more. You might be thinking, what's in it for me, besides some cool science stuff? Well, buckle up, because particle physics has been pulling its weight in the real world too. Ever had a medical scan or received a life-saving diagnosis? Thank particle physics. It's contributed to breakthroughs in medicine, like treatments for AIDS and countless other diseases. Plus, it's given us a deeper understanding of fluid dynamics, leading to better infrastructure and more accurate weather forecasts. Oh, and let's not forget the internet. Yep, you heard that right. Particle physicists played a crucial role in developing the World Wide Web, the very same tech that's allowing you to watch this video right now. So the next time you hear someone say, what's the point of particle physics? You can tell them it's changing the world, one neutrino at a time. With all that in mind, it's safe to say the Hyper Cameo Kandi is more than just a science experiment. It's a beacon of discovery, a gateway to a brighter future. And trust me, folks, I think this is one experiment that's definitely going to live up to the hype. What do you think? Comment your opinion below, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe, because I post new videos three times a week. If you haven't seen the last video on how China is spending $2 trillion, yeah, a trillion with a T, on new mega projects, then be sure and watch that video next. There's a lot more on this channel, like why the Panama Canal is drying up and how some people want to drain the Mediterranean Sea to create a mega continent connecting Europe and Africa together. So, take a look at some of my other videos now, and we'll see each other in the next video.